हॅलो एव्हरी वन आय एम मिसेस ऋषाली चौधरी लेक्चरर प्रवीण पाटील पॉलिटेक्निक वी आर गोईंग टू लर्न बेसिक सायन्स केमिस्ट्री चॅप्टर टू मेटल करोजन प्रिव्हेन्शन अँड इलेक्ट्रोकेमिस्ट्री वी आर ऑलरेडी स्टार्टेड विथ इलेक्ट्रोकेमिस्ट्री वॉट इज द इलेक्ट्रोकेमिस्ट्री अ ब्रांच ऑफ अ सायन्स विच डील्स विथ अ कन्वर्जन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक एनर्जी इंटू केमिकल एनर्जी अँड केमिकल एनर्जी इंटू द इलेक्ट्रिक एनर्जी द लर्निंग आउटकम ऑफ टुडेज लेक्चर इज इलेक्ट्रोलिसिस अँड इलेक्ट्रोलिटिक प्रोसेस बिफोर स्टार्टिंग विथ इलेक्ट्रोलिसिस वी मस्ट नो वॉट इज द कंडक्टर अ सबस्टन्स विच इज हॅविंग फ्री इलेक्ट्रॉन्स अँड चार्ज आयन्स अँड विच इज कॅपेबल ऑफ कॅरिंग करंट वन एंड टू द अनदर एंड इट्स कॉल्ड ॲज कंडक्टर्स देर आर टू टाईप्स ऑफ कंडक्टर्स मेटालिक कंडक्टर्स इलेक्ट्रोलिटिक कंडक्टर्स मेटालिक कंडक्टर्स दीज आर द सॉलिड मेटल्स विच इज कॅरिंग द करंट इलेक्ट्रोलिटिक कंडक्टर्स वेन एनी सॉल्ट डिझॉल्व इन अ वॉटर द सोल्युशन इज कॉल्ड ॲज इलेक्ट्रोलाइट ड्यू टू प्रेझेन्स ऑफ चार्ज कॅटायन अँड anions so substance that solution is called as electrolytic conductor here we will study the difference between metallic conductivity and electrical conductivity for metallic conductivity electric current flows by movement of electrons while in a electrolytic conductivity current flows by the movement of ions metallic conductors free electrons are present electrolytic conductors charge ions like cation anions are present metallic conductor no chemical change will occur over year and year while in a electrolytic conductor ions are oxidized or reduced at the electrodes metallic conductor no transfer of matter metal will remain as it is after conductivity while electrolytic conductors there is a transfer of matter in form of ions their size will increase or decrease ohm's law is followed in a metallic conductivity ohm's law is followed resistance increases with the increase in her temperature as the metal temperature increases it causes increase in the resistance and conductivity is decreases while electrolytic conductivity as the temperature increases resistivity decreases conductivity is increases faraday's laws are followed in case of metallic conductivity electrolytic conductivity faraday's law is followed we are going to learn the electrolysis what happen in a electrolysis we are passing conductor current through metallic conductor in electrolytic solution due to that chemical reaction will take place causing change in a composition of electrolyte that is called as a electrolysis the process of converting electric energy into the chemical energy by decomposing ionic compounds into their elements by passing direct electric current through electrolyte it's called as electrolysis acidified or salt containing water can be decomposed by passing electric current to their original elements hydrogen and oxygen water is made up of h2o that is a hydrogen and oxygen when we are passing current through it it is separated into hydrogen gas and oxygen gas molten sodium chloride can be decomposed to sodium and chlorine this is the basic electrolysis process here we will observe that 
one container which is having this blue color solution that is called as electrolyte what is the electrolyte any salt dissolved in a water having positive and negative charge cation and anions that is the electrolyte they are electrolytic conductors here we are using two metallic conductors called as cathode and anode the electrode the metal which is attached to the negative end called as cathode electrode which is attached to the positive end of a source is called as anode so anode is having positive charge it is going to attract negatively charged anion towards the anode while cathode is negative it is going to attract positively charged cations in electrolytic process there is a interchange of ions and atoms due to the addition or removal of electrons from the external circuit on passing current cations move towards the cathode cations are positively charged so it is move towards the negatively charged cathode while anions are move towards the positively charged anode electrons released by the anode anions travel across the electrical circuit and reach the cathode completing the circuit electrolysis involve a simultaneous oxidation reaction at anode and reduction reaction at cathode oxidation reaction at anode reduction reaction at cathode for example we are going to study electrolysis of sodium chloride when electric current is passed through molten sodium chloride the molten sodium chloride ions uh, ionize to form na plus and cl minus na plus that is the sodium ion attracted by the negatively charged cathode cations attract towards the cathode and this cation will gain electron na plus from the solution will gain electron from the cathode to complete their to neutralize their positive charge and form a sodium metal as it is become metal it becomes solidify and it is get deposited at the surface of cathode chloride ion reaches the anode that is a negatively charged anions move towards the anode it gives its electron and become chlorine to form a chlorine molecule cl minus that is from the electrolyte move towards the anode so it is removing the this excess of electron to form a neutral molecule that neutral molecules combine together to form a chlorine gas at anode in electrolytic process we are getting useful metals from the compounds directly it is used for the metallurgy for removal of pure metals it is used for purification of metals deposition of metals preparation of compounds like alloys here we will see the video of how exactly electrochemistry electrolysis will take place we are going to solve mcq based on this when the current is passed through electrolytic solution which of the following process will occur what is the electrolytic solution a mixture of anion and cations positively charged cations negatively charged anions so both are able to move in a equal and opposite directions so anions will move towards the anode cation will move towards the cathode so answer is first option in electrolysis the process of oxidation occurs at 
anode which of the following is the definition of oxidation gain of electron loss of electron addition of hydrogen removal of oxygen what is the answer loss of electron is called as oxidation oxidation and reduction in wall transfer of electron thank you so much for wonderful listening thank you so much